Okay. Clint Eastwood speaks out on Super Bowl, and um, well, people don't seem to understand that Clint Eastwood is an actor. He gets paid to do roles. He was paid to do the spot for, um, you know, for Chrysler, and um, and you know he rewrote the ad, to, you know, to be more Eastwoodish. But he still was a, a paid pro promo, and it was uh, basically there was uh, he did a commercial for a city that's not recovered and for an industry that's not recovered uh, knowing that he didn't approve of the bailout for a, for a commercial that wasn't shot in Detroit and um, for a company that basically got huge financial problems it seems that the the 10 billion that fiat returned to the United States government was actually just refinanced by the United States government so they returned nothing um, we have the um, salvage so work resumes on Italy Astrick and Costa Concordia Instead of doing the sensible thing, which is putting in another ship alongside it to support that thing against the bad weather, they're going to drain all of the uh, the um, oil out of the ship before they'll side before they'll do the salvage operations, which more than likely will result in the ship being pounded to pieces and basically destroying an ecological area. You know, but you know that's how they do things. Uh, Let's see, the President of the United States is confident that he'll be able to talk to the Muslim Brotherhood and that are now running Egypt and that they'll change their minds on how they're doing things because as everyone knows that our President is able to talk to Muslims like no other President could and they all support him, you know, like that's going to happen. Uh, Obama has also said Israel has not made any decision on attacking Iran. I heard one of the people in the administration this leaving administration said that this president is the most uninformed president by uh, his people and uh, as far as they've ever seen because everybody in the universe knows that the Israelis have made up their just mind the Iranians know they made up their mind the Arab League knows they made up their mind the UN knows they made up their mind but the president hasn't been privy to the information I mean watch um, you know I guess it's not been since World War two with uh, Franklin Roosevelt when a president has been kept on the uninformed side like this president has. Um, we have uh, varying views of the latest jobs data. Well, first of all, the report that the glowing report that they're using is saying that unemployment is down actually was wrong because there were 400,000 less paychecks next last month than there were paychecks. So unemployment is actually 8.8 percent, not 8.3 percent. But I mean, who's going to quibble over a little detail? that more jobs were lost than jobs were gained. Um, uh, uh, Japan finds water leaks a stricken nuclear plant. Well, the bloody thing is disintegrating. You know, what you do is you go in and start to try to salvage it. You go in and just cover the thing with uh, a cement shield. And then you, uh, you try, you know, you dig underground, you sit there and, set, and put new supporting stuff under it. You just got to seal the thing off for whatever long it takes. Don't try to salvage it. Uh, um, United Nations nuclear inspection got underway in Iran. Well, that lasted about 10 seconds. And they're complaining that they're not being allowed to inspect the places uh, uh, that they were told they could expect. I mean, basically, if somebody is trying to hide something from you, they're going to willingly volunteer to let you see it. But uh, the President of the United States says that the, there's too much talk of action against the Iranians because these are reasonable people and they can be talked to. Well, no. Um, and uh, this unwitting amputee blast, health ads ordered photo. Well, basically, when you're hired to do a job, you do the job, you know. And uh, they basically are trying to make things look one way when they're not. I mean, like this uh, this morning, for instance, uh, I love this. Uh, when the President of the United States, the White House has ordered that military chaplains can no longer talk about uh, about faith. They cannot, it is ordered by the military to talk about. Well, what's the good of being a chaplain if they no longer can talk about the Catholic faith, the Jewish, the Mo well, Actually, I guess the Muslims can talk about the Muslim faith all they want. It's just any religion other than the Muslims cannot talk about it. So, um, uh, here's another moron thing. The fellow pulls out after pit bull owner out. Like, you're going to offend pit bull owners. Um, who cares? I mean, I, you're, uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't offend them to begin with. I wouldn't have made the ad. 
but when you've made it, you don't pull it. It's just like you make a decision, you stick with the decision. If you don't stick with the decision, then you should never have made a decision. Um, uh, there's one that I find to be un uncomprehensible. Wisconsin man's body goes unfound for four years. Well, it wasn't like it was hidden. They just didn't bother to look at anything. So, I mean, um, U.S. Japan mulling, uh, sending 4,700 Marines to Guam. Oh, and that, that's Obama's way. We're going to protect the part of the world by sending our troops to Guam. Well, it always is the best way to do the protection of a country. You know, the Japanese want our troops gone. The President of the United States is going to cut back there. That's where some of the defense budgets are going to cut. But then here's another stupid one. Faculty removed a scandalized LA elementary school. Basically, um, if you have two bad apples in a, in a bushel, you throw the bad apples out. You don't throw all the apples out. This is exactly what's happening here, is that the school area of the are reacting to pressure and they're gonna can you know they got they're doing an investigation to see what you knew when you knew and how much you knew well maybe they didn't know anything you're supposed to be innocent until guilty um, what it is they're probably the wrong political party uh, a Chicago driver and misgiving cash to al-qaeda militant well there's probably lots of Muslims in this country give cash to al-qaeda militant and probably a lot of non Muslims are doing the same thing there's nothing you can do about it, though, folks. Um, Syria experts give advice that America is likely next move. Well, this is basically you're going to say shame on you. Actually, Hillary Clinton's going to go over there and going to go over to the United Nations, shake her finger, and that's going to say our president says you're naughty dictators. Um, di you know, dictators who kill their own people are bad people. Uh, dictators generally start off with killing their own people, folks. Um, and then another college student survives 90 days without technology. I don't know why that would be a news item because, um, you know, uh, I, I, I didn't have technology when I went to college. I had a pen and a pencil and a slide rule. Um, and the slide rule they thought was cheating. Uh, they said George Romney on, a, on the eve of another uh, another couple of primaries basically decides that the uh, that, uh, that uh, minimum wage is a good idea. In fact, it should be increased continually. So the businesses don't really appreciate that statement, as do the Republican right. Um, like uh, hundreds hurt in Peru quake. Uh, you know, it's you know when you build in a quake zone, you tend to get hurt when buildings go down, especially if the buildings are made out of mud and brick. Uh, uh, a new star discovery is found in an uh, antique telescopic plates. Well, how can you have not seen something and have to use ancient plates to find them? Because the stars are being scanned every day all over the world. Uh, here's one too. This one I do understand. Uh, uh, Vassar hopefully wrongly told they were accepted, uh, you know, because I can remember a zillion years ago, I was accepted in the Stanford University in a medical school and then found out that I wasn't accepted in the Stanford Medical School. I went to Stanford, did all the looking around for everything. I ended up at USC, you know, sort of where I lived, you know, I lived in Culver City, which is, you know, you go right down the road to USC, which was, you know, not what I really intended in life because I didn't want to go to college where my house was. Uh, Obama basically approves of a super PAC so that uh, the super PAC can handle everything like George Romney's super PAC is, which is a basically uh, scorched earth. Uh, you know, basically they can do anything they say, and the, and the president will be able, like Romney, to say, well, I, I didn't give them permission to do it. They're nasty people. Uh, oh, they're going to have our daily Facebook to file five billion IPO Wednesday. Well, maybe not this Wednesday, but every Wednesday, every week, you're going to have the thing that then, that thing. Oh, and then the, the big news item today: um, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has had more more decisions overturned by the Supreme Court than any other Supreme Court in the country. Ruled that uh, you have no right to vote. That if you vote legislation in, it's yeah. That is written according to what the court tells you to write. It's unconstitutional. So, you know that's the way she works in this world, folks. You know, 
that uh, that people no longer have the right to decide the laws, and that uh, minority rights shall always win out over majority rights from now on. And we have a uh, money bug of the Mark Twain the animal people out of this one. If it didn't work the first time, what makes you think it's going to work the next time? <laughs>